Hey guys, it's Alana. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be exposing someone. Okay, not really, not actually, but like kind of. I'm not like into the whole like drama thing in life. Ah. My Gemini Rising kind of loves tea, but like overall I like to stay unbothered and I don't like messing with drama. But I got some tea for you today, sis. I'm kidding, it's not actual tea, it's just like part of my past, it's something that I've had to move on from and that I struggled to accept at the time because I was very naive and vulnerable, as usual. As usual. So, so, I wrote two songs about someone that, I don't even know what face that was, <laughs> someone that like took advantage of me, kind of hurt me, kind of like was useless and... Wasting my time, basically, and, um... It's not like I wanted this person, it's just, like, they tricked me, and they made me believe something that wasn't real. But, I have to admit that some conversations that we had were really good and interesting, and in a way, if that never happened, I wouldn't be as wise as I am now, and I wouldn't have grown from that situation. So that's why I believe everything happens for a reason. So... I just want to share with you the two songs that I wrote about this person. And if you are interested to know what kind of song it is, what kind of songs I've written, and why I've written and who it's about, stick around. You're in for a surprise. Hey guys, it's Alana, and I'm back with the story time. My room is a mess. Okay, let's, like, not show that. Ignore the, like, pile of... Oh my god, there's something in my eye. Ignore the pile of clothes that's on my bed. This is usually the chair, you know? But... I need to sit on it today. So why is there? As soon as I film, something always happens. Okay. So I'm going to be doing that story time. You don't do story times. I'm going to be talking about the time that I got played. I, I didn't technically get played, but I played myself. So I guess that's even more interesting than a guy actually playing you because that's kind of boring for a story time if you ask me. But, you know, for this one, it's sort of my mistake basically and like all the things you don't want to do. And I like to give a bit of a lesson and advice with every story time that comes with me and I will do that at the end of the video because there's a lesson to learn from this and um also two songs that I have to share. So we're gonna call the dude Caden because that was his fake name for the thing that I met him on. So I stumbled upon this app called Yubo where you can make friends. I'm all about making friends and meeting new people especially online because with the anxiety that I have it's so hard to just like go up to someone. I hate phone calls. I hate like just speaking sometimes but I'm a good like speaker. It's just weird. I don't understand it but I'm an ambivert and I either like people or I don't so I got this app to test my social skills and my anxiety. I didn't get it to like like swipe on people to like you know like, like date anybody or anything. It was Definitely not that. I didn't get the app for those intentions, and I wouldn't I wouldn't really do that in the first place because I wasn't looking for anything like that. Like, I'm, I'm trying to make friends because I'm innocent, you know? So, I stumbled upon this guy, and, like, we actually had a really good conversation on the app, and I was like, oh, he's not that, he's not that dry, but there's more to him than what meets the eye, and I'm like, I'm kind of, like, I like figuring people out, so I like to do that, and I... Let's not forget, he's a Scorpio, so obviously I'm trying to figure him out because he's a mystery. And, um, yeah, I started to get to know him a lot. He was very open-minded to, like, what I had to say and stuff. So I'm like, okay, cool, like, everything's going well so far. He didn't give me his Instagram, I don't know why, but he gave me his iMessage so we can play I iMessage games because we're both, like, competitive when it comes to iMessage games. So I'm like, yo, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to win and beat you and stuff like that. You know, like, how it goes. So I got the app. I mean, I, I got his contact. And then we continued our conversations so little old naive me didn't know that these types of dudes were only looking for one thing and <laughs> it's not the thing that you want to be wanted for and I didn't know that because I was very like close-minded I was very like innocent I was naive I was vulnerable and I didn't realize and it's because I've never experienced that before and like I didn't know what I was getting myself into because I was just being a nice, respectful human being that I always am. And with, with being nice, a lot of people like to take advantage of that. So you know that meme where it's like when you like have a big heart, but everybody steps or walks on top of it? That's basically what this whole thing felt like in the end. So yeah, I realized that 
the more I texted this person, the more I was like, wow, he's very interesting. He's very deep and intellectual. Um, he's actually, like, so nice, and he has a lot of personality to him. Then I finally, like, got his real name, and I'm like, oh, I thought your real name was this or that. And he's like, nah, I just use it for the app because I'm not trying to have people know who I am. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool, you know, mysterious. Stay that way. We have, like, a few inside jokes, too, here and there, and when you have inside jokes, that's when it becomes, like, oh, shoot, you know? Like, there's something more in a way. But I wasn't, like, intending to catch feelings or, like, to like this person, as more than just a friend but then we had a lot of deep conversations and he was very like willing to listen to me and give my insight on things and he's a very experienced person in terms of other things and I wasn't so when I say I fall hard and I fall first I mean it I literally mean it but it was not in my my intentions he just literally manipulated me into catching feelings for him and that was his intention from the start. And I didn't know that until after when everything came crashing down. I'm like, oh, well, I'm stupid. Like, I'm such a fool. You know what I mean? It was one of those realization moments. And then I was starting to listen to a song. And I'm like, wow, I really just let someone do that to me. I really just let myself get played. I really just, like, caught feelings for someone who doesn't feel the same way for me at all. So he flirted with me a lot. And I didn't know that, like subconsciously and I'm like okay he just really likes like he likes to make dirty jokes but really it was like flirting for no reason which is why because of him I hated flirting after that and I hated like the concept of it and if anybody else did it with me I was like no stop right there you know um because I had a grudge with this and I've been manipulated by friends in the past and I like I did learn my lesson with friends but since this was something different I didn't realize it in the moment which sucked but it's okay and I finally like listened to that song and it made me cry. And then I was like, wow, I'm really crying over someone I've never met before. <laughs> like, you know, that's so stupid. But that's how big my heart is and that's how much I care about people. And that's how much I like end up being vulnerable with, you know, like as like, when you care so much, when you have a big heart, you end up feeling everything that comes with it. Feeling things deeply, it could be a blessing or a curse. And in this sense, it was a curse. And I guess after I saw the blessing, you know, sort of the calm in the storm, calm after the storm, whatever you want to call it. But I was very, like, blinded by his words. He had a way with words, and I think that's what I usually fall for with people. I guess I thought we had a connection when really, like, he didn't really care for it at all. But, yeah, I told him I caught feelings and that he... He said to tell him whenever I did or if I did. And I'm like, yeah, dude, I will. I'll tell you. And I was honest. And he's like, oh, shoot. I didn't mean for you to. And I'm like, huh? But you flirted with me this whole time and, like, all that. And I was just being honest. It's not like I wanted to have a relationship or anything. Like, no, that's not what I was looking for at all. I just wanted to let him know, like, this is what happened. One thing that this kid said to me a lot was, what you want to talk about. And I hated when he said that. Because it's like, you're obligated to, like, start a conversation with someone. And when people say that, it just puts me on the spot. And it's like, I don't know what to say as is. So when you say that, it makes me more anxious about what I'm going to say next. And it's like, oh, I don't know how to make decisions in the moment. So I'm like, I, I don't know how to answer that. So it's like, we can talk about anything. So why do you have to really say that? You know what I mean? And he knew that I hated that. But he did that so much multiple times that it like... At some point, I'm like, okay, maybe he's purposely saying this because he doesn't want to talk to me. Um, And I guess I was clingy and I got attached to him. So I was definitely not giving... I wasn't receiving the same energy that I was giving him and blind me didn't realize that because I was just getting new to this whole thing and I was I needed to experience it in order to understand like this is how guys are this is how you know it works basically and I don't want to be like part of that so yeah that I guess that's just me playing the victim or whatever but it's okay I accept it and I'm, I'm it took me a long time to get over it and move on but he didn't know that I told this guy a lot because like he was very open-minded to my music taste and everything I gave him a whole bunch of little peep songs to listen to he gave me his music to listen to it was like that type of bond basically 
and um, apparently the whole time he just wanted me to like flirt back, you know, but I thought we had like a intellectual and deep connection, but the whole time it was just fake. Yeah, I felt very stupid and naive after that, and um, I ended up writing a song about him, and it's funny, we had a conversation where we're like, I told him that I write songs about people that hurt me or that mean a lot to me. And he's like, well, have you ever written a song about me? And I'm like, nah, but I'll let you know the day that I do. And that was a joke because it was a joke because I didn't think that any of this was going to happen. So eventually when he did hurt my feelings by playing me, I guess, um, (laughs) obviously I had to write a song about it. In fact, I was so angry afterwards that I wrote a second song, but I wrote another, I wrote like my first song called Toxic because I realized that it was very, very one-sided and it was me that was showing the interest more and it was me that was hoping for more rather than me like wanting one thing. Obviously, when you give so much and give your all, it's like you feel stupid in the end when they don't give it back. So that's why I wrote Toxic. Um... But then again, Toxic was also based on another friendship that didn't end properly. And this one was just, it wasn't even anything. It's like, you know when you are heartbroken even though you've never dated a person? That's like basically what it was. But I wasn't like heartbroken because I know what that feels like from a friendship and it's worse. But um, it felt very weird because like he wasn't like anything he wasn't with me or anything he wasn't really a friend either so i don't know what the hell it was that's what i'm saying like we have a connection but i don't know what it is and um i guess to him he would say that we're in the talking stage but like honestly that's so stupid to me after i told him a lot of our conversations became very dry like dry like as in what are you doing or like how's life or what you're doing at school or how's work and stuff like stupid lame stuff like that our deep conversation stopped he clearly didn't want to talk to me anymore and I wasn't really getting the hint because I didn't really know. Because I wanted to like mend things, I wanted to fix it because I like to fix things. And eventually one day... The last thing that he said was what you want to talk about. And I'm like, that's when it hit me. And I'm like, oh. And then it all started to like make sense and I left him on red because... I'm like, let me ignore you on purpose and see if you even try to put in the effort. And he didn't. And I'm like, oh, okay, great. Got my answer. Clearly, you don't even want to talk about anything. So I wrote another song called What You Want to Talk About based on his famous words and um, the thing that I hate. he knew I hated the most, you know? I know it's very, very, like, what's the word? Childish, I guess? Or petty for me to write something like that. But... He didn't realize how much this affected me, and I hurt very easily (laughs) as an empath, as a person, as a Pisces. I don't know. But I cared a lot about him. Then I realized I shouldn't have in the first place, and I'm like, oh, great. Now I'm, like, hurt over another person, which wasn't my intentions because I don't even know you. I thought I did, but I don't. So that happened, and... Then I'm like, why am I so hung up about this? Why haven't I blocked him yet? Why hasn't he contacted me yet? You know, I was asking a lot of questions. And I never wanted to experience again, so I never let anybody else in. Um, it affected me that deeply because I care that much. So that's the story time of when I got played. I hope it made sense. It probably didn't. I just find it very, like, toxic that he he's like, he knew that I was one day going to write a song about him. And I'm like... The foreshadowing and the irony was kind of crazy in my opinion, but I I just think that, like, honestly, this had to happen for me to become stronger, to realize how I'm not weak, I'm just a vulnerable person, and I have to accept that I care about people easily, so it depends, and it's up to me to, like, realize who I let in and who I give my energy to, and as long as it's reciprocated, that's all that matters, and... I don't regret this at all because I think it it was supposed to happen so that I know my own worth and that I know that it's not worth crying over and I know that like don't let this happen ever again basically and you'll be okay without him because you don't even know him you know what I mean so yeah that's how much I care about people and friends (laughs) and it's like I can obviously have dry conversations but when I meet someone with the same like vibe as me it's sort of harder to like get rid of in a way i will be sharing the songs with you next and i hope you guys enjoy it so stay tuned 
So I'm gonna be singing a song that I wrote called Toxic. Here it goes. So there's only lyrics, so please bear with me. Talk all day and night, but I know you're toxic. I can never get it right, but I know I want it. You will never know, I don't want to show, that I'm in love with your mind. You will never know, I don't want to show, that I'm waiting for your time. We talk all day and night, but I know you're toxic. I can never get it right, but I know I want it. I should let you go, I reap what I sow, and I'm a mess for thinking you were kind. I should let you go, I reap what I sow, and I'm a fool for thinking that you're mine. Yeah, non-stop all day and night. But I know you're toxic, you could never get it right, but I know you want it. Pulling me down, pick myself up, call me a clown, this isn't love. Yeah, but baby, you're toxic. Want it. Day and night, get it right, yeah, toxic. So that was toxic, and I know it's basic lyrics, but it's, I feel like with music, that one would sound really cool. I feel like a lot of people can relate, and if you've ever gotten played, or if you've ever been in a toxic relationship, or friendship, or not even in one, or just like, you, someone just is, or something that they've done, just screams toxic to you and you don't realize it it's hard to tell in the moment so that is why the bridge is like you know you're pulling me down but I pick myself back up but then I realize that it's constant and it's a cycle and then I'm like oh shoot you know clown you know that whole like that meme literally everybody talks about this isn't love as in like it's not real you know it never was real and that's okay because you just learn from it and you grow from that experience and you know that you're gonna find someone better and more worth it and I did thankfully um but I didn't want to and I was like nah I'll just wait for love to come to me and I really like worked on myself after this whole thing happened because I'm like it's basically the five stages of grief you know and I had the anger stage for a while actually the denial that was the start and then the anger stage and I had to get over that and I did and I was very very happy that I did and I'm like I should have gotten over this way faster but you know you learn you live and you learn the next song is the infamous what you want to talk about so the cover art for these songs bangers bro I made them because of our conversations they're literally screenshots from our conversations I don't know if that's petty I don't know if I'm the toxic one but like still like you, you gotta give me some credit for that that's kind of cool and I'm like this is like an in-your-face type of song so for all of you who experienced a similar thing you can relate give this a thumbs up comment down below and like I hope you enjoy the song so here it goes I don't really know the melody of this one, so it might be iffy and weird, but I'll try my best. And hopefully I can actually sing my own song. <laughs> Here it goes. There's a reason I left you on red. It was the last thing that you said. You know I hated those fucking words. You had to make things fucking worse. Tell me that you love me. Baby, why are you bluffing? I really wanna push you over the edge Tell me that you want me, baby, now you haunt me I really wanna see you hurting instead So what you wanna talk about? Nothing, so please shut up What do you wanna talk about? I'd rather scream into your heart There's a reason I do on red it was the last thing that you said 
You know I hated those fucking words You had to make things fucking worse Now look at me, I'm so angry I wish you knew what you've done I fell for you and I was fooled I'm glad I wasn't the one Music So boy don't say What do you wanna talk about? Nothing so please shut up What do you wanna talk about? I'd rather hit my head into a wall There's a good reason why I left you I left you on red It was the last thing that you The last thing that you said I told you I hated those words Of course you had to Of course you made it worse I don't really wanna ever talk about Don't talk to me at all Please don't think to call I don't ever wanna talk to you about Don't talk to me at all Text another girl after all Maybe one day I'll get some closure But since you didn't respond I know it's over I'm glad it's fucking over So something like that, I don't know, this one's still kind of like weird Depends on the music, depends on the chords and like all that fun stuff but overall, those are the songs that I wrote about the time or the person that played me or that I let play me or the time that I played myself. Yeah, that was like my F you song to them. You know what? This was closure for me, basically, and I didn't get really, I didn't get like a legitimate apology. I didn't get like a message of them saying, hey, like, we haven't talked in a while, so I'm just trying to catch up, see how you are, you know what I mean? And I know I'm the one that left them on red, but it's only because I wanted to see if they would ask how I am or if they would even care to the fact that I left them on red. But literally just means that they didn't in the first place. You know what I mean? So it took me a long time to realize that. But I moved on. I'm better now. Honestly, like, I hope he's doing well. You know, like, I genuinely, I don't wish anything bad on him. Hope he's good. Hope he found someone or he found whatever he wanted and needed. And I hope he's still banging the little peep songs that I gave him. So, yeah. This was my story time. I hope he doesn't come after me. But, like, it's probably not. Like, who even cares at this point? Bang or songs, you can't even lie. Like, if anything, you should be honored that I wrote a song about you. Enjoyed um, the story time. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And comment down below any other songs you want me to sing or any videos you want me to film. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.